Bruh, one with the upper man. What the hell happened to me? Oh, hello there, I didn't see you there. It's -a me again, Mountain General, and I have to get into my Sigma male grind set again. And well, today we are going to play a mod that I wanted to play for a longer time, and I finally got around to it, the failed revolution. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more Hearts of Iron 4 stuff, don't forget to subscribe because we are nearing 100,000 subscribers. And like the video if you want to see more of this mod. And now, before we start today's video, I'm proud to announce that this video is sponsored by Opera GX, coming to you as a first browser for the true gamers, with a ton of useful integrations such as Discord, Twitter, Instagram, Whatsapp, all by your hand at every time for easy and quick access. A great thing about Opera GX is that you can customize a lot of things to the way you like it. For example, the simple simple wallpaper background. You can even choose from animated wallpapers here. And as you can see you have a lot of options and you can just search for anything you really like. In addition to Opera having its own extensions, you can also use Google Chrome extensions. Just install Chrome extensions add-on and you are good to go. Also switching to Opera GX from your current browser that you are using is very easy. With quick import bookmarks, you can just transfer everything important that you saved. You don't have to do anything manually and everything is nicely saved for you. Also you can have Opera GX on your phone. And with feature called Flow you can connect your phone with your PC and transfer videos and pictures from your phone to your computer and vice versa. Another great feature is Hot Tabs Killer. The feature allows you to identify the most resource draining tabs and just like that you close them. And still by far my favorite feature is this pop-up window that you can use and watch your videos while you are playing your favorite games. Also you can adjust it to the way you want. Also Opera GX comes with built-in VPN so you don't have to worry about anything. So don't forget to get Opera GX from the link in the description or in the pinned comment. And the best part is that Opera GX is completely free. Also big thank you goes to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. They have been now a regular sponsor of the channel and I see a lot of people enjoying the product so give it a go and now let's get back to the video. Now by the name of the mod and by the title of the video you kinda know what revolution has failed and who is the big boy here? But today we will show the tea drinkers what is meant to be an American patriot. And we will try to do this American revolution now with modern guns. And by showing them the American patriot I don't mean that I will chain myself to a McDonald's as a protest for British to leave. No, 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 we will take up arms. Now what I really like about this mod is this political tab where you can see your prime minister and the monarch who is currently ruling over your country country and Edward VIII is the king of the Dominion of North America like that's obvious because we are part of the British Commonwealth. Obviously we are a Dominion and America has some really funny modifiers, legacy of the stock market crash so Great Depression was present here. Also we are jewel of the crown that's quite obvious from our size and how important we are for the British Empire and also reliance on the crown. Yeah we can't do shit with our military. Now we could be the pride of the crown and be a good boy for the British but today we are taking up arms and the man who will lead us to victory is Douglas MacArthur. Also funny thing is that Washington as a city doesn't exist and our capital city is New York. 
Yeah, I know. But it could be worse. It could have been Detroit. Oi, bruv. Splendid news, innit? Coronation of Edward Dave. Let me drink some tea to this shit. Now with this change in course, we will call up for Douglas MacArthur. He will become Douglas MacAtatürk. He will be the same for the US as Atatürk was for the Turks. He is truly the second Washington. Pretty badass title if you ask me. And Britain protests, but I don't really give a shit what they think in London. Now Britain agrees that uh, we can rearm. Big mistake. Big fucking mistake, Britain. You know, I wouldn't really give a right to rearm to a guy who dubs himself the second Washington. Oh yeah, France is so bad that we will give refuge to French scientists. Why the hell not? Don't worry, you are no longer in France. And now you are going to make me a fucking nuke. And before the revolution begins, we will also negotiate with the Quebec people. Yeah, we have the burden to carry Canada and also Quebec. Yeah, this is not a very fun America. And now we will probably wait until the revolution begins. But yeah, before we rebel, please, Britain, invest in our country, thank you very much. Like as if we needed more factories. Oh, we now have to get ready for that sweet, sweet revolution. And we see where the loyalists will be, fighting against us, fighting against the right cause. This is it, my brudas. We are now the United States of America under Douglas McAtatürk. Oh yeah, we got a pretty cool flag. Now, the Minutemen signed up. Um, another settlement needs our help. I'll mark it on your map. And yeah, we gained 31 divisions. Let us put them into a good use. So yeah, the plan here is pretty simple. Win the war of independence. Also, we will take some guns from the Frenchies because uh, all guns are good. Also, we do not have the biggest navy, but we will try to hold on the British as much as we can. From at least supplying these armies here. And the revolutionary capital, yeah, let's move it to Denver. And yeah, we will hold on the Chicago and we will just go to Detroit. We won't stop until the capital. Canada is fully ours and fully burned down to the ground. We shall not stop until every British person in America is dead or captured. And you see, the convoys are going uh, <laughs> to the bottom of the ocean, so war crimes go brrrr. Our heroic troops have encircled one division and completely massacred it. Oh yeah, this revolution is going pretty swimmingly, I have to say. Yeah, we do a little trolling of encircling everyone everywhere we can. Oh yeah, and the British troops are trying to arrive here, but we still somewhat control all the waters here. Also, I almost forgot that I can just summon the Minutemen. So yeah, this American Revolution thing is going pretty well. We have even encircled their capital city, so yeah, we can just freely murder everyone. Yeah, we got to make sure that there are no British loyalists left. Oh, the silly British has arrived, but uh, yeah, they will leave as fast as they came here. You know, I really like the fact that I can take their capital city without a fight. And my brothers and sisters in arms, we have gained our own independence. And all the Minutemen are gone now. But we salute all the heroes of the United States of America with Douglas MacArthur in charge as a father of this nation. Douglas MacArthur has risen up and took arms against the treacherous British that won't control us anymore. God bless the America. To truly dominate at least the America. And now the question of the capital city will be, well, let's go with the classic and renamed Georgetown to Washington. But we will move the capital to Chicago. I feel like this is quite strategic. No one will have access to our capital city. And yeah, let's go for the future of the Republic. We have secured our country, let's now secure our future as a whole. Now also we have here the power struggle, and I will see what I can 
cook up here. You know, I'm going to go full 1984 and ban everyone here. No more media for you. While the world is slowly getting more on fire, it is pretty chill to play as United States of America. We are slowly developing our infrastructure for uh, later expeditions. And also we are trying to cure our depression. Oh yeah, Ireland, go, go, go. Oh shit, I can't even send landlies or volunteers. But you have my emotional support. Yeah, go and get them. Hey yo, look at the Irish gold. Now they just have to take Dublin and they have won the war. I mean, it will be better for the British to surrender now so they don't have to deal with those spontaneous car explosions. Now I got a little feeling that I might have just uh, broken America by banning all the parties. And well, we won't be moving into this part of Focus 3. So we will just do this little command so we can at least do the Federalist Coalition. Because I feel like this is the path America should go down for the centralized Union boys. And now we will slowly move down with this Focus 3 for all these great bonuses. Now this one will be fun to watch. And hopefully one day we will conquer the British Empire for ourselves. But yeah, this will be hard for the Napoleon here. Good fucking luck, I guess. Now even Russia is moving in, Italy is slowly unifying, so you have a lot of fun here in Europe. Oh, now the France is completely fucked. They are just getting invaded by everyone around them. I've seen the chat for the France. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be a European right now. Oh yeah, France just got fisted pretty hard. Now they are a supervised state by the Prussians. And yeah, the Prussians gain new colonies in Africa. Pretty nice for them, I guess. Hey, Russia. Russia, I don't think you want to go to Afghanistan. Trust me, bro. And now finally that we stand united, we can do our own path. Emperor of Japan joins the Pan-Slavic Entente? Hmm. Hmm. We do not care about the world because we are going to just manifest our destiny. Okay, okay, now Pan-Slavic Entente is beyond just being Pan-Slavic Entente at this point. They even got the Sikh Empire and the Ottomans in. You crazy bastards. Now the first victim of our new imperialism will be Mexico. And yeah, I feel like my army is war ready for the Mexicans. I told you that we should have built that wall against the Americans. Firstly, they came here to steal our jobs and now they are coming here to steal our land and bitches. It could have been a huge and tremendous wall. Oh yeah, this is a little bit silly. I didn't expect my army to do this good. Like, look at this KD ratio. It is just unfair. Now yeah, Mexico lost. And now they are a junior partner of the United States of America. I kinda like this that they change color as well. And here we fucking go again. United Kingdom against France and Prussia now. Second round against Kaiser Wilhelm. We will see how the Prussians will do in this war. And now with all of my might I will invade Haiti. Now this island will be mine in no time. Sorry not sorry but USA has to expand. And then right away Dominican Republic. So yeah, I love my random Caribbean islands. Now before we strike against the British Empire, we will do one strategic move and conquer Denmark. Because basically then we will have an easier time getting to the Imperial Federation territories. So basically this war with Denmark is about to test out my marines. So yeah, we will see how poorly my units do. You know what? It's not that bad as I thought. So yeah, pretty easy invasion indeed. So yeah, this invasion is just one huge test to test out our naval invading capabilities. Yeah, it's not that bad. Now invading Denmark will be a little bit tricky, but I hope that most of their army is stuck up here in Norway, so... Yeah, so we are just going to storm Denmark, while their forces are held up in the north. Yeah, looks like a fucking plan worked. Imagine not defending your country. Now again I'm using Alu Diplo to create my faction, but... Because I 
want my own team. Yeah, you can't blame the cheeseburger Antan for wanting to exist. But now, finally, before the invasion of UK, our army has grown, well, exponentially to what we had before. And I think we might have this in the back. Yeah, because we need to hurry up so the Germans won't capitulate here. Now it's finally time that we won't suffer the insufferable British Empire. Oh yeah, and this will be a proper world war. But we will try to end it as soon as possible. Oh yeah, time to move in. Oh yeah, and it seems like that we have perfectly caught them off guard. So yeah, this might seem like an overkill, but it is a much needed overkill. Basically, it is time for the British Empire to end end and for the american empire to arise so yeah this is just too easy we already have london anything you can really think of is ours now oh yeah now we are just cutting through them like it's nothing yeah this is just a classical america when you get ready you are ready for anything even though we have taken the british isles the imperial federation lives in canberra so yeah we will have to chew through all of their colonies to get there <sighs> whatever first of all we need to secure the american colonies here oh yeah we already struck against them and then we will move to the australia our brave american soldiers are going to slaughter all the garrisons of the enemy colonies uh, nothing is truly as fun as going through africa yeah this is just uh... Too beautiful, I love Hearts of Iron 4, I love Hearts of Iron 4, I love Hearts of Iron 4, I love... I love mods in which you have to chase a whole country throughout the entire world just to capitulate them. It is just so much fun. But yeah, I'm bringing this pain to myself because I'm choosing to play this game for this long. Yeah, nobody is forcing me to it. And finally... Can we have a peace deal? Oh my... You got to be shitting me, Kingdom of Netherlands is a major nation, so we have to go here. <sighs> now also the best thing is that we can integrate the British lands into our new American Empire. At least when the British capitulated we got a foothold in Australia. And even the Mexicans are here to help, so yeah, they are quite suited for this environment. And now fucking finally after preparing for too long maybe, it is time to launch our final, final invasion to end this bloody war. And yeah, we shall be successful. A uh, yeah, nicely landing on all the Indonesian islands one by one so yeah i really like when a nice invasion finally comes together okay just give it a moment and this should be like the end of the war hopefully i mean this should be all the victory points of all of these islands so now uh, please capitulate like really i can't take this any longer finally <laughs> And finally, the true American way of conquering everything is here. After many years of conquest, the flag of McDonald's is waving around the world. In our proud cheeseburger Antan. And yeah, I conquered Central America while nobody was looking. There isn't much to do now when we completed our focus tree. And if you enjoyed today's video and made it this far, be sure to subscribe because we are nearing 100,000 subscribers. And I do want to apologize for my shitty upload schedule i haven't uploaded a video in 26 days long story short school is just spreading my ass cheeks and having a field day and uh yeah and yeah and as always massive thank you goes to my channel members their names are in the description and on the screen right now and a special thanks goes to the laminator for being the highest channel member <laughs>